This has just come out. I don't think this is two months old, if that. There's the book, um, Optimal Design of Experiments. Notice there's a case study approach. And what uh, Brad did here, uh, neither the other author is Peter Goose, who's uh, these two young, young, young listen, listen to me call them young men. These two men are um, collaborators for quite some time. Uh, Peter is in, in, um, from Belgium, and of course Brad is here in the States, and they've collaborated uh, extensively for the last several years. Which, uh, the fact that we have a European and, a, and a person from the United States together on this thing shows that the field is international, and then it'll have a wide pack in, and wide impact. But the a case study approach, they borrow an idea that was in the, in the book by uh, one of the books I was a part author of, um, Box 100 and 100 on Experimental Design. And in there, we occasionally um, went through a little dialogue where the, the, the engineer would describe his problem and the statistician would make some replies and they'd, and they'd, and they'd produce an experimental design. Of course, that was back in the days of classical experimental design. In here, the practical problems are really practical. And the statisticians sit down with the engineers and the managers and so forth, and they discuss all the constraints, all the difficulties they're going to have in running these experiments, all their hopes and aspirations with respect to the outcome, now, how many factors there were and how many constraints are on the factors and so on and so on and so on. So there are several case studies in here, really honest to goodness case studies. And you can see the statisticians sometimes almost wince, oh, don't tell me that. And at the same time, recognizing that when push comes to shove, we can make everybody happy. Yes. And we can satisfy the needs of the statistician who's looking for a resource or way of unfolding the information and the data. And we can satisfy the needs of the experimenter who has the questions and has the constraints and, and make it a happy wedding. So it's an excellent book in that sense. So you have the, and the, finally, each chapter uh, goes through that descriptive purpose. Then they show you the design, and then they put down the data, and then they go through an analysis. And then at the end of most of the chapters, there's a very small piece for the cognoscenti to read, the, the matrix notation and the various mathematical and computational qualities of what's just been transpired. I put up, I'll elucidate it in more fine detail. So the book is for the Paris statistician as well as for the very professional statistician. And um, I think it'll have a, um, a great impact. The ideas in here will have a great impact and, and fundamentally change experimental design.